Good morning, prayer partners. I am very saddened because as I'm recording this video, one of my beautiful friends, sister, mother in the church, uh, is brain dead due to COVID-19. And I am pushing through emotions. I am pushing through um, feelings of helplessness. I am pushing through um, just feeling like, God, let your will be done. And Lord, help me to continue to trust you as she goes through, as they go through this. But if you notice my energy is off, that's why, because my heart is broken. And I have decided a long time ago not to fake the funk with you guys, to be open because y'all are my prayer partners. And I want you to pray for me. And I want to pray for you. So if there's anything going on in your life that we can pray for each other for, um, please put it in the comments, text me, email me if you want it to be private. But I was given permission to actually announce it today. And so I may let this video goes out later, but it actually is pre-recorded. And so I had to make mention to keep the SEALs family in prayer. I just couldn't start today off without that. We start a 14-day Bible plan that's called Doing Things That Matter. It's written by Tim Menon. Things That Matter. Most days, I have the privilege of taking my kids to school. It has become a special time to start our day. Even the kids seem to value our short time together. As we approach their school building, we finish our time by saying same thing together every day. I say, okay, remember today, do something that, and they fill in the last word in unison saying, matters. That is the last thing we say to one another as they head into their everyday life. After we say our do things that matter, Statement together, I watch my kids walk into their school and I have a hopeful and possibly overly idealistic anticipation of them making a radical impact. As I leave and head toward my everyday life, I wonder, what am I going to do today that matters? The hope within this devotional is that you can explore some of the questions, hopes, dreams, and purposes of your life and help you consider your life and the path you are choosing today and every day because maybe it can be better. Better for others around you, better for your family, better for your career, better for the glory of God better for you. Are you choosing the path of life to God or is life simply choosing you? Has whatever life brought you become your reality? Does your life feel more like you um, are keeping up with life's demands rather than experiencing fullness? I have found myself growing through the motions. I have found myself going through the motions of a life that has been handed to me instead of living the life I was created to live. What if you attempt to reimagine the way you do life? Chances are your faith needs you to ask yourself new questions and to act on new discoveries. In this devotional, you will be introduced to four values which are undercurrent, sorry, which are the undercurrent to a life of doing things that matter. Becoming a person who dreams wildly, 
lives differently, loves recklessly, and leads courageously, all for the glory of God, could end up smack dab in the middle of the life Jesus describes as life to the full. Say a prayer inviting God to speak to you throughout the devotional about the life you are choosing every day. Prayer partners every day, and I do mean every day, even while I deal with the emotions that I'm facing, I want to give God glory. And I give him glory for this woman's life, her, her love, and her ministry. I thank God that she was an amazing person who reached up to so many. She encouraged me and she would spread uh, my videos. And actually, she was one of the first people who sent um, one of my first videos to over 100 people. And so I am just grieving. Um, I'm grieving for her, but I'm also praying for her. The word hasn't officially officially come yet. She is on life support. And I may be able to update you in the days coming. Um, but I'm inviting God to speak to me throughout this devotional. And I'm inviting God to come speak to you as well. And may God get the glory. May all God always get the praise. Because she knew. And that's what's the beautiful thing. She knew that her Redeemer lived in and that he will stand on the last day. And that brings me joy in my pain. How can you still have joy, Paula, in so much pain in your life? Well, um, one of our young elders, uh, Mark McCarter Jr. said that joy, uh, how did he say it today? Joy is always happening. That's what he said. Joy is always happening. And I believe that. Lord, I thank you that your joy, even in the midst of the pain, is always happening. For someone else, they can't feel what I feel, but somebody else, they feel it more than I feel it. So God... I want to continue to love recklessly. I want to continue to live courageously. I want to continue to be on the battlefield for you, God. And like Job, even when I feel like I'm being slayed by you, I will praise you. I ask that God you be with this family right now, the SEALs family. Walk them through each step of the way. You know every need, desire, want, and care. And I pray, God, for my prayer partners, that they too will live a life to the full. In Jesus' name, through the power of the Holy Spirit, against any power and principality that's a weapon formed against us, we use the word of God to fight back the enemy in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer partners, continue to pray for me as I pray for you. And as always, Enjoy Jesus.